What's cracking guys, JP here again, doing another update of my 20 gallon reef tank. Now, this tank has been going through ups and downs in the past week or so. First thing is I'm having some weird chemistry issues, I'm not sure what's going on because my red Monty right here is kind of pale, but I think it's also, I actually stopped dosing for a couple days for my Red Sea energy and I just redosed because I just got so busy so I just forgot to dose it on a couple days but it's not really bad just a little bit pale as usual but it's only this area so it could be the light also because right here in this area is very red and still doing very very well so I'm not sure as you can see might be the light or chemistry issues but my LPS is very happy as you can see I did move my frags, my Monty frag and my green digi to the back as you can see right there and I moved my Xenia to the front and my gold hammer a little bit to the middle they're both still acclimating so that's good a couple bad news is I did lose the firefish I had in the back I think he was just so beaten up so bad, the fence was all turned up and he just couldn't make it. And the other thing is I also lost a Nasir snail last week because as you can see I have bare bottom. So what Nasir snail likes is a sand or any substrate so they can burrow in and get food from when they get to. But in my situation, all of the food will get from my clownfish or my cleaner shrimp right here or my hermit crab or it gets stuck underneath, underneath the rocks and he can't get through it because it's so big so I only lost two cleanup crew out of five from the original two years ago and I have not added any cleanup crew all of my stock are still original and as you can see here is my original astria snail I did lose a serret snail last year because my hermit crab became murderous and killed it for a shell so that's okay so so far no algae no anything on the rocks it's just basically growing my coralline algae slowly so that's basically it and what did I did notice in my tank is I'm having some problems on growing my Zoas and such Especially or even the Xenia. It's not really growing as fast. I am not sure. I think I have I just tested my Chemistry my nitrates and phosphates are super low like undetectable So I'm not sure what's going on. I think I just have I just need to feed more or add more fish Which I probably won't because in this size, but I just need to feed more so that's my uh, issue right now not enough nutrients that's why I'm feeding or giving my tank reef energy and that's basically it and let's move on to the equipments alrighty guys on to the equipments I have so as in front of you guys this is my do-it-yourself auto top off this is the Rubbermaid container I got from Walmart inside of the one gallon jug I just have this, it's more aesthetically pleasing to me and I just have it in one line now so it doesn't recycle if it's just two lines I do have a hole so it doesn't create a vacuum I just filled up my auto top of container so that's good filled up my calcium and alkalinity from BRS right there these two so it's been a year that's the good thing about small tanks <laughs> and the next thing is something new I have an alkalinity checker from Hannah. Although this is the PPM, it's easy for me to actually just Google and convert to DKH. And the good side is, I only got this for $20 and the guy only used it once because he got a DKH and this one's just lying around. So I know him, so he, I got him from him for $20. So that's a good deal. This is my first Hannah checker. so. I did test my levels just earlier and it became let's see 157 ppm or 8.77 dkh and usually it's around 
and since it's like but midday the those are just basically was on halfway during the day so that's that's what happened so in the end of the day I have around 8.3 let's see to the top what I also changed is how my auto top off goes in the tank before I used to have it in this container what happens is, is the water goes up here dose it in and after a while a bubble or a lot of airspace gets stuck right here and what that causes is it causes a blockage for the water to go up so it was not dosing even though the pump was running correctly and stuff it's not giving any water because it was just stuck or with the air so what I did is the same concept as my auto top off just an airline tubing a hair airline tubing it's just the rigid airline tubing and basically this did the same thing and this way the air bubble is just right here and if this turns on since a very short distance it just push out the air and it doesn't cause a blockage so that's the good side everything is working pretty well so that's the update guys thanks for watching and happy reefing adios